I'm Lauren Manning, and you've got the courage to survive. On the morning of September 11, 2001, when the first plane hit the North Tower, the fuel exploded and I was enveloped in a wall of flame. I suffered the most catastrophic injury that day, burned over 82.5% of my body. I spent more than half a year in hospital, and during countless surgeries, amputations, and lethal infections. In a moment, the life that I had known had been completely torn away. My courage to survive after 9-11 was a combination of a few different things that came together. First, when I had found out how many of my friends and colleagues were gone, I knew that the only way I could possibly avenge their deaths was to fight to keep one more from dying. You cannot dwell, and I could not dwell, on things I could no longer change. I had no choice but to get over it. And so, I moved forward. A lot of times we look back on moments in our lives with regret, and we realized and hope and wish I could have or I should have done better. But what we don't realize is the strength we had at that time that we were making decisions that allowed us to move forward. We had the strength to choose to make things better. Realize that is your unmeasured strength. You have that now. Use it. I'll never forget when I first met Lauren Manning. She'd been burned over 82% of her body, but she was a fighter. Nine years ago, Lauren Manning made the news in the wake of September 11th she was a Wall Street mom who had just barely survived the attack on the towers, suffering burns on over 80% of her body. When we spoke to Lauren nine months after the tragedy, she had become an inspiration to people everywhere. You are a true American hero. Because of the resilience of the American people, these events could not come close to breaking us. I think of Lauren Manning, the 9-11 uh, survivor who had severe burns over 80 percent of her body, who said, that's my reality. I put a Band-Aid on it, literally, and I move on. I had the honor of speaking with Lauren Manning a few days ago. and Her story is unforgettable. Well, Lauren, it's been um, a pleasure to talk to you. I've got to say, uh, it's one of the most extraordinary books I've read in a long time. Unmeasured strength. I recommend everyone go and read this because it's a tale of inspiration and courage when I think many would have just packed it in. Can you believe Lauren Manny today? You're just remarkable. Look at you. It just shows you that miracles can really happen. No matter what the outcome, the win is always in the effort. On September 11th, I was given a chance to fight back. And I took that chance and I poured my heart into it. I thought of my father's advice years ago in tough times, he'd say, get over it. I thought it was harsh, get over it. What kind of unfeeling father could that be? And I realized how beautiful and pure and kind those words truly were. And I decided I would get over it, no matter what it took. You may be touched by adversity, but you can refuse to be held by it. From that moment you awaken, whether it is after one night of sleep, or in my case, most two long months, the only way forward is to gather your courage and to take that first step. The step that will be remembered for generations to come. What will you do with the years of promise ahead? I ask you, and I counsel you, with every day you have a choice. Make it count. Thank you.
Thank you, Thank you, Sam. You deserve a huge hand.